today I want to talk to you about fuel additives. You pour these right into your fuel tank to get protection for your engines or to even fix problems in the fuel system or in the engines. But how do you know it's fully working? How do you know it's making things better? Or could it possibly be making things worse? If you think all fuel additives are created equal, think again. Stick around and watch this video because it might just save your engine. This is Greg with B3C. Today I'm going to do a head-to-head -head test with two of the top-rated multifunctional fuel additives whose purpose is just that, to protect your fuel system, protect your engines, and even fix problems in the engine or fuel system. Now, I'm talking about things like carbon and gunk deposits, the things that clog the fuel system, the carburetor, the fuel lines, makes it hard to run, hard to start. I'm talking about water in the fuel system, that's never good. We're gonna look at efficient combustion and burning. We're gonna look at emissions, what's put off when it's burning, and residuals, what's left behind after the burn. So, now let's see how these two perform head to head. Now, although anyone can do this test, we recommend you do not try this at home. So here's how we're gonna do our test today. These soda cans represent two engines. They could be gas or diesel. It could be a mower, pressure washer, generator, car, boat, truck, you name it. Let's say these are your engines. Now, on the bottom of these cans, there's carbon date stamp. That's carbon bonded to metal. And no engine needs carbon deposits in it. So we're gonna introduce the fuel additive. We're gonna bring in water and do combustion, and we're gonna see how these fuel additives perform in these two engines. So stick around and let's see how they do. In the first test, we'll see how each additive cleans carbon deposits. I'm adding mechanic in a bottle on the left and the competitor on the right, directly to the carbon bonded to metal. Carbon deposits and gunk in the carburetors, fuel lines, injectors, and pumps are the main reasons for hard starting and running rough, especially in smaller engines. As you can see, mechanic in a bottle is the only additive that breaks down the carbon deposits, while the other has no impact. To optimize your engine performance, you should use an additive that effectively breaks down the contaminants that hamper the flow of fuel. Next, I'm adding water directly into each additive. Water gets in from gas at the pump, condensation from temperature changes, seeping in, and more. Mechanic in a bottle encapsulates the water while the other has no impact. Water is one of the worst things for your engine and fuel system. It doesn't burn like fuel, so it messes up fuel flow. It causes rust, corrosion, hard starting, misfires, stalling, and more. It's the reason for microbial growth in diesel that clogs injectors and filters. And at about half a percent of water and gas, phase separation occurs where it separates out, settles at the tank bottom, and gets pulled directly into the engine by the pickup tube. Mechanic in the bottle is the only additive that can reverse phase separation. Now let's see how each additive performs during combustion and burning in these two engines that had carbon deposits and water. Mechanic in a bottle is a true combustion catalyst that promotes complete burning, which is what you should look for in a fuel additive. A combustion catalyst promotes complete burning of the fuel, breaks down carbon deposits and prevents buildup, burns out the water, minimizes emissions for less smoke and harmful byproducts, and enhances power output. Let's take a moment to see how each additive burns. As you can see, mechanic in a bottle burns smooth and clean while allowing the water to burn out as if it wasn't even present. The other additive did quite the opposite, producing smoke and soot, popping when it encountered the water in the system, and if you look closely, the water is still present even after burning. And on a final note, mechanic in a bottle once burned leaves behind a synthetic lubricant. There you have it, that's our test. So let's recap what we all saw today. Only one additive clearly outperformed the other in terms of handling the issues that matter the most to help protect or fix problems with your engine or fuel system. We're talking about cleaning, handling water, and burning efficiently and cleanly. So, which additive should you put in your fuel system? I'll let you decide, but I think I know. 